This video is brought to you by Spiderfy, the ultimate bird and bug system add-on for Blender, available for download on blendermarket.com. What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video, I'm going to show how you can create a simple 3D camera projection of a photo to use as a distant element for your scene. Camera projection of photos or videos is a great way to have 3D parallax in your environment without increasing render times with highly detailed PBR environmental elements. This technique is commonly utilized in unison with 2D matte paintings in creating the surrounding and distant elements of full CG shots where the main element that draws the eye is closest to the camera. Let's get started. First, find a photo or a matte painting that you want to project onto 3D geometry. In my case, I will use this basic mountain landscape. Now line up the 3D camera to the general perspective of the photo that you want to project. Go to the Object Data Properties tab with your camera selected, select the Background Images checkbox, and add the image here that you want to project onto 3D geometry. Now it's time to generally recreate the geometry of our photo in the 3D world. I'll first recreate the geometry of our foreground environment all the way up to the mountains. To do this, I will add a plane to our scene and match the perspective of the ground by extruding the far end upwards toward the mountains. Then subdivide the plane so that the geometry can be adjusted to the perspective of the photo. In this case, I'll subdivide my plane around 20 times for more detail. The more subdivisions you have, the more accurate your projection is going to be. Go into edit mode and start lining up the various 3D geometry to your photo. I like to enable proportional editing for more organic environments because tweaking the geometry in this way is a little bit less tedious. Once you've lined up the geometry to your photo, select all of the vertices in edit mode and add a new material for the object. Change the surface type to emission, the color to image texture, and find that same background image or matte painting that you have loaded into your scene, which you want to project. Now in camera view with all of your vertices selected, press U and project from view. When you go back into object mode now, you will see that you have successfully projected your image onto the geometry that you have created. You now have more freedom in creating interesting camera movement for your scene. Finally, we need to repeat this process to create the background sky portion of this image as well. I'll add another plane to the scene, rotate it 90 degrees toward the camera, and place it further in the background. Subdivide this plane in edit mode as well, and once again in camera view with all of its vertices selected, press U and project from view. Now select the same projection material for this background plane as the one for the main mountain element, and you have a nice projection on the deep background as well. To avoid seeing the mountains on this deep background plane, you can scale it up a bit if necessary. At this point, you have a background projection as a starting point for your 3D environment, and you can start adding in more foreground elements to bring the scene some more life, depending on your artistic taste. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. For a more detailed version of these steps, check out the longer tutorial link in the description below. Let us know what you'd like to learn next on the channel. Subscribe if you're interested in more visual effects and filmmaking content, and I'll see you next time.